What's up, everybody? It's Easy, and we've got a new update coming. This one is on the regular base. It's not on the builder base. They're calling it the June 2017 update. Whether or not that comes in June, don't know. Got a ton of stuff coming, so we're gonna break it all down. About a 15-minute video, so let's get right into it. Uh, first, let's go over the defenses. First thing is the new cannon and the new archer tower. Level 15 on both of them. Uh, the cannon is, is massive. It's got this massive opening. Kind of looks like a mortar on its side. Kind of looks like the giant, uh, the the one from the builder base. Uh, level 5 inferno towers. Wow. That, that is going to be something too. These are all coming on the town hall 11 only. So it looks like they're starting to fill in Town Hall 11 a little bit, where we had a bunch of stuff, uh, you know, Town Hall 11 came out, but we still had a lot of Town Hall 10 defenses uh, as max defenses on Town Hall 11. So now you're having some separation between Town Hall 10 and Town Hall 11. The max cannon, Archer Tower, Inferno Tower, the first three. So let's get into the Inferno Tower. The, the cannon and Archer Tower are kind of self-explanatory, they'll just bump them up both. Uh, but the Inferno Tower, there's some other changes coming with the two. We have the damage on the single and the multi. They're both going to be uh, evened out as it starts to burn. So that means that um, at, on singles, on single target, it's going to have the same amount of damage as on multi target until it gets into that second phase where in single target starts to skyrocket. And then the damage on multi is increased on level four, and then on level five, it's going to kind of scale up just like it does in level four. So that's going to be a pretty big difference in Town Hall 10 as well. So now new troop levels, we have troop levels and buffs both coming, and there's some awesome stuff coming. Well, let's go over the buffs first, because there's a bunch of them. First is the Hog Rider. They want this Hog Rider to be viable in Town Hall 10 and Town Hall 11, so a buff to level 6 and 7 on hit points. The Dragon, they get another buff. Town Hall 4 and 5, they get another increase in hit points. And then the Miner, it's going to be available in Town Hall 10 at level 3. And then from level 3 on, there'll be a buff in hit points. And you'll see in some of the replays later on, the, I mean, that's a big difference. Miners are going to be going back towards kind of where they used to. Uh, I don't know how they're going to avoid the mass miner raids like the, like they had before. But what we're going to have to just wait and see how that all plays out. I'm thinking maybe with the new defenses, that might, that might stop some of the mass miners. I don't know. Uh, so, new levels. First, the healers. Healers go to level 5. That means that the Queen Walk, the Witch Walk, the Bowler Walks are going to be even more effective. Uh, wizards to level 8 have some new graphics with the Wizards. Pekka to level 6. Now the Pekka Walks are now just starting to come into play. Now you got a level 6 Pekka in Town Hall 11. That's going to be devastating. Uh, miners, they only they not only get a buff in, le in level 3 and 4, but they also get level 5 now. So level 5 is available for Town Hall 11. And the Wall Breakers. They go to level 7, uh, I'm thinking after the, the last buff went to the small uh, the small bombs, they they buffed up the wall breakers as well. So, bunch of new troop levels, all these new troop levels are all in Town Hall 11. So, and I found something kind of interesting on the Reddit. Uh, there was a post that says, for the, all of you in Town Hall 9 that are looking for new content, um, upgrade to Town Hall 10 and 11. <laughs> I thought that was pretty funny. And, and and fairly reasonable too. A lot of this stuff is coming to Town Hall 11, but if you're not in Town Hall 11, you, ha you still have new content coming once you get to 11 anyway. So I got on YouTube, went to one of my favorite places, Power Bang. He has the developer's build tablet, and he was doing some attacks on his developer's build, and had some great replays of all the new troops in action. So let's check out what he's doing right here. This first one was a Hog Rider raid. And uh, for the hog riders, one thing you should know is they are, I, I believe what they want is they want the hog riders to be used in Town Hall 10 and Town Hall 11 like they are used in Town Hall 9. Town Hall 9 and they are a major troop. But once you get to Town Hall 10 and 11, because of the Inferno Towers, they're just not as viable in Town Hall 10, Town Hall 11. Now, they have enough hit points in Town Hall 10 that you can use them in Town Hall 10, and I believe even in Town Hall 11, uh, you add the Warden's ability and you add some of the other features in Town Hall 11. Looks like Hog Riders will be able to, you'll be able to use them all the way up to Town Hall 11. Um, he, at the end of this raid here, there was no he, no heal spells left, no Warden ability, and those Hog Riders kept on going. So there is this, they, they're, they're not squishy like they used to be. They're going to be a lot more 
you're gonna see a lot more raids with hog riders hog rider is already a devastating troop between that and the balloons those are your two main three star troops to clean up with I think you're gonna see a lot more hog rider raids there's a lot of talented town hall nines out there that can't really do much once again to town hall 10 because their main uh, troop is the hog rider so now there's going to be a continuation of the hog rider from town hall 9 to town hall 10 and town hall 11 so that's kind of great that's great news for a lot of players not too great for people on defense because hogs are tough enough to defend you're gonna you're gonna have to really start focusing in on using those giant bombs and using um, your base designs to lure the hog riders over multiple sets of double and triple giant bombs and um, something else I would not be surprised at all if we see a giant bomb buff in this and if not in this update in one coming right up soon because we have so many new uh, troops out there that you kind of need the added defense with the, with the giant bombs so expect to see that we haven't heard anything about that yet but I would expect to see that pretty soon so um, this is uh, PB looking over some of the raids he's done I think on the developers build you have limited people that you can attack you can't attack the public with a with the developer build so you know trying to find different people to attack was an issue for him but uh, anyway getting into the next attack this looks like it's going to be I'm trying to find oh okay this is a minor attack and I actually remember this now so first thing starting off with the king a couple of the new wizards behind them and the new wizards but they have they have a huge punch to them a lot of people just use wizards at the beginning of an attack to kind of clear out the trash buildings on the outside to create the funnel I think wizards are going to be uh, used more in the in the actual attacks now. You may see some more attacks using tanking troops and then using wizards behind them. Now here, using kind of, using the mass miner attack right here and getting into the core of the base. As as of right now, you got the infernal towers, which is the new level. Uh, are those the new one? I don't know if those are the new infernal towers. Sorry, um, but the infernal towers are burning down on the miners. And these defenses are just getting crushed by the miners. So the new miners, it's not just hit point buff that they get. They are also getting a new level, which is going to be more damage per second, more hit points. And uh, you, you all, we already have a new heal spell that came out in the last uh, the last update. So now you're going to have the new miner level with the new heal spells. This is going to be another one of those monster troops again. Uh, it's it's just not, what it seems like to me is they're putting a big separation on Town Hall 10 and Town Hall 11. I know that right now in in all clans that have advanced wars, a lot of your top Town Hall 10s are are attacking Town Hall 11s, and you're getting a lot of two stars on Town Hall 11s from Town Hall 10s, and it's looking like that's going to be a lot more difficult to do. On top of that. We're gonna have to start using a, a lot better strategy in clan wars because if you have a clan that has let's say seven or eight town hall 11s I'm thinking that if they're able to use those attacks to dip down to town hall 10 that they were gonna three star a lot more often than they were before uh, I me having one of the top town hall 10s in my clan. I get attacked by town hall 11s almost every war and my account does not get three starred every war because of the base design and, and it's, a, it's got max defenses. I, I'm thinking that's that's not going to be the case very soon because we're going to have these max miners, max healers, all, all the max hogs coming through. I don't think Town Hall 10 is going to stand much of a chance against the new Town Hall 11 troops. Okay, this next attack that Power Bang does, this is a queen charge. And with the new healers on the queen, it's a max queen, new level 4 healers. And just pay close attention to the to the spell usage. At, right now, he's got a, a, the new cannon firing it on the queen. He, the mortars are raining down on him, on her. He's got the cannon and soon to be a wizard uh, shooting at her. He's got the crossbow shooting at her. And here's some of the new uh, the new wall breakers breaking through the wall and still have, Has not used the ability hasn't had to hasn't even come close to hasn't even got down to half half uh, energy yet So the, the healers there's four healers on her right now, and those healers are just beasts. They're they're mon they're monsters behind these the, the behind the 
Wow. Let me take a break here. Regroup. The monsters behind the queen. So we get to the base, use the warden's ability. And so far, we're not. There has been no troops used except for the, the heroes. And the heroes have broken the middle of the base, taken out about a third of the defenses. Now he freezes the crossbow and brings in the new P.E.K.K.A. Level 6 P.E.K.K.A. going around the outside. I'm sure that's intentional. There's no way that he would ever have the P.E.K.K.A.s go around the outside if he wanted them to go into the base. Just no, for the record. <laughs> so now adding a couple of uh, wizards to help get those P.E.K.K.A. inside the base. And the P.E.K.K.A. break through the walls. We didn't get to see how many shots. But I think it was two or three shot, two or three swipes on those brand new max walls, and they just crush them. So new Pekka, as if they weren't strong enough. <laughs> now we have level six Pekka. So now I know. Let's go back to the no one gets new gameplay or new new stuff except for Town Hall 11. This means that you can requ you know you can request uh, for Pekkas in, in the clan castle, and you'll have level six Pekka. This is going to be another one of those troops that you might put two or three healers on at Town Hall 9 or Town Hall 8 and, and push that P.E.K.K.A. all the way through the base. Uh, I'm sure that the hit points are going to go up, the, the damage per second are, are going to go up, and when you get down to these Town Hall 9 bases with the, with the max P.E.K.K.A., you're probably going to be one-shotting most defenses. So here's a good look at the three new defenses. Not a big change on the on the cannon as far as the looks. Uh, the the archer tower it looks a lot different. They they took away some of the some of the glam from uh, the the last level of archer tower. The, uh, the the new infernal tower looks similar to level four. They just cleaned it up a little bit. So cool graphics. A lot of stuff to consider with this with the new update. I don't know when it's coming. They're calling it the the June 2017 update. Uh, we don't have much time left in June, so maybe we'll hit before the end of the month. We'll have to see. So, new troops coming, new buffs coming, new defenses coming, all kinds of stuff coming. This is on the home village. So, the, it looks like they're going to keep up with the home village as well as they are the builder base, which is great news because we still have clan wars on the new on the, on the the village only. We haven't got to get to that, that point yet where we're actually getting into clan wars on the builder base, which I'm sure that's coming. I'm sure we're going to have content, tournament type content coming for the Builder Base, so stay tuned for that. A lot of, there's also, uh, I've heard talk of other things, I'm not going to put it in the video because I haven't seen any confirmation yet, but um, look forward to even more. This is, <laughs> this is put it that way, this, look forward to even more. Uh, I, I'm going to put out everything I can here in the next... Uh, from now until the update uh, anyone that's not new to the channel you know that I'm also working on the new website the new website is called clash made easy it is the ultimate guide to clash of clans it is going to have every single piece from the game on it all the builder base stuff all the regular village stuff it has uh, the easiest guide on every page so something else to look forward to gonna try to get try, gonna try to get a link on, from clash to the new website uh, keep keep my fingers crossed for that. <laughs> Been working hard on this one. Hopefully, it's going to be an asset to people that that want want to find information out, but don't want to go flipping through all the all the wikis and all the other stuff. To have multiple different sources that put on the information. This is all done by easy, and it wasn't not easy. So, if you're new to the channel, sub to the channel. If you like the video, like the video. I am easy. You have been updated, and I am out of here. Till next time, take care, everybody.